Hey everybody, Nick Study here, Technical Service Manager for FMC. Today I wanted to discuss the weed spectrum that we typically deal with in winter wheat production and its potential impact on yield. So oftentimes as we're out scouting this time of the year, we'll notice the purples and yellows, so to speak, henbit, purple dead nettle, chickweed, mustard species, as well as maybe even crest leaf ground cell. And certainly as we allow these populations to compete into the spring, we can see yield loss. And so there's some work that would indicate anywhere from a four to a seven bushel loss from this competition. But we're starting to notice a bit of a shift in terms of our wheat competition or just populations in our wheat crop um, to the winter annual grassy species, such as annual bluegrass, little barley, maybe downy brome. Uh, fortunately, in this particular geography, we're not dealing with as much of the Italian ryegrass populations as what they are in the Mid-South and out East, but certainly that is a um, weed that we need to be on the lookout for because it is much more difficult to control due to its resistance profile. As we think about situations where the wheat crop is competing with dense populations of our, our grassy winter annual uh, weed species, we could potentially see as much as a 50% yield loss in that type of environment. So this leads me to a study that was conducted with Purdue University last fall where we evaluated the residual impact of Anthem Flex herbicide in a wheat management system to control annual bluegrass. And so um, it, this study was conducted at the CPAC location, which is in Butlerville, Indiana, in the southeast part of the state. It did have pretty good overall winter annual uh, weed population in terms of broadleaves and grasses, but certainly a very dense population of annual bluegrass, and that allowed us to acid test the residual control of the treatments that were being applied. A little bit more background on the site, it was seeded on October 13th, and they went ahead and overspread glyphosate to set the population back to zero and allowed us to, again, evaluate the residual activity from these treatments. Um, the Anthem Flex was applied on October 18th in a delayed pre-application strategy. And so just a little bit more background information on delayed pre-treatments. We make those or want them to be applied when 80% of the wheat seeds have a half inch shoot on them. And so just as a general reference, if you've got a penny on hand, if that shoot is as long as the penny, we'd go ahead and make that application. So as we implement Anthem Flex into these herbicide systems, we need to practice good overall agronomy, make sure that we're seeding at the proper depth, so one to one and a half inches deep, make sure that our furrows are being closed before we make that application as well. And then just to simplify that delayed pre-application even a little bit further, if we're planting into warm, moist soils, and we wait two to three days to apply the treatment, we've typically hit that delayed pre-application. So as we jump into the treatments here, what we notice is that in the check um, treatment outside of the pot, we see very good overall weed densities out here, but particularly high populations of, of annual bluegrass. Now, as we move into the glyphosate alone treatment, you can see that it did a nice job of setting the population back to zero at seeding, but we are seeing some annual bluegrass escapes here and they're gonna compete with the wheat crop and rob that yield potential as it's uh, competing for those same resources. Now, as we imp implement Anthem Flex into the system, what we're noticing when we tank mix it with the glyphosate treatment is that we've got that foundation residual control where we're managing the annual bluegrass as well as other grass species throughout the season to preserve those resources for the, the wheat crop and optimize their overall yield potential. So as we move into the fall and we develop our weed management plans and our wheat production systems, we certainly see Anthem Flex as an opportunity to provide a really strong foundation residual control measure for our winter annual grass species, as well as suppressing some of those key winter annual broadleaf uh, species. And so as we get into situations where we do have higher populations of wild garlic, we need to be mindful of that. And Anthem Flex is not gonna provide consistent control on that species, but does provide an opportunity for us to incorporate Harmony Extra at three quarter ounces in that green up application to manage our wild garlic. So with that, um, really appreciate you taking time to watch the video today and wish you a safe and prosperous season. 